In this tutorial, it's time for a knight to attack. Let's see how to do that. All right, once more, we find ourselves in Unity, and in this tutorial, we will add attack functionality to our knight. Now, the first thing I want to say is that there are a bajillion ways that you can implement a attack technique into Unity, into a 2D game like this. But I think that the way we're going to do it is going to be fine for our purposes. It might not be the most optimal for every situation, but I think that this is going to work really well. So let's first of all duplicate our scene here and make this 8 attacking. And let's open it up as well. And then we will need two new scripts. And one of them is going to be the player attack. And the second script is going to be the attack area. Now let's open both of those actually and let's see what we can do. First of all the player attack. So the player attack has a private game object which is the attack area. Now this is the area in which the attack happens. We're going to see how the attack area works in just a little moment. Then we will have a bool which is called attacking. We're going to set this to false and then we'll have two floats which is basically a timer. So one of them is time to attack which is going to be set to 0.25 and then a load called timer, which is going to be zero. In the start method, we are going to set the attack area equal to transform dot get child zero dot game object. So we will get the first child of this game object. This is something we're going to implement after we're done with this script. We then have a private void attack. So this would be an attack method right here, which we're going to call in the update method in just a moment. So the idea is that we're going to do attacking is equal to true because we're attacking here. And then what we do is we set the attack area dot set active to attack. It. There you go. And then in this update method, we're going to look for input dot get key down key code dot space. So we're just going to put space as our attack key. Then we're going to call the attack method here. And then below it, we're basically going to have a logic that is going to reset the attack. So we can attack and the attack area only stays up for a certain time attacking. And this is going to be timer plus equals time dot delta time. This is simply going to count. And then if the timer is if the timer is bigger or equal to time to attack, then we'll reset the timer. We will set attacking to false and we'll also set the attack area dot set active to attacking. And that's actually all we need for the player attack script in this case. We also need to do something for the attack area, which we're going to take a look at that in just a little moment. First of all, let's actually create the child of the knight. So the child of the knight is going to be an empty game object. And as you can see, it is created below it. And this game object is going to be called the attack area. Now this attack area currently sits directly below the knight. And it's going to get a collider here. And that collider is going to be a polygon collider in this case. We could also do a box collider or really any type of collider that we wish. But in this case, a box, a polygon collider works fine. And we're going to edit this collider. So first of all, we're going to go to points and we're actually going to reset it so that it only has three points. So now it is a triangle. The idea being that we're going to attack inside of a triangle. So let's do something roughly like this. Right, let's make these numbers a little bit nicer. So the middle one is going to be at zero, zero, and then we're going to offset it by about 0.5 here. This is going to be 1.5 and 1.5 on both of those. And the Y coordinate is going to be negative one. Uh, let's do it negative 0.75 and positive 0.75. I think that's okay. Once again, this is something where you also need to tweak it a little bit. So maybe this area is too big. Maybe the reach is too much. Or if you want to, for example, increase the reach, then you can also do that. You can still also offset it here, which we're not going to do, but you could for example, do that as well. I think that that is fine. And then very important that this is a trigger. This is a trigger that's very important. And then we can also add the attack area script to this and the player attack script to the knight. The last thing that we need to do is really modify the attack area right here. And this is going to be the cool thing because the idea here is that we don't need any of this. The only thing we need is a private integer damage. And that's going to be three for the sake of argument. And we're going to do pride private void and this is going to be the on trigger enter 2d which takes in a collider i still don't know why this is called collision this should be called collider and then we will say collider dot get component health is unequal null so what this does is it checks whether or not the collider that this attack area has collided with has a health component and if that is the case then what we're going to do is we're going to say collider dot get component health and then we're going to say a let's actually call this health instead of h that's a little bit better there you go health dot damage and then with the amount of damage up here what is happening 
The idea is that if we press the spacebar, then we are calling this attack method. This attack method sets the attack area to true, which then detects whether or not there are colliders inside of its trigger area, and if they have a health component attached to them, then they will get damaged. So that's basically the idea of this. Let's see if we can actually do this. So let's duplicate this knight, control D, and move him a little bit to the right. Let's actually get the attack area out of this, and let's also get the player movement and the player attack as well. Keep the health script, and we'll also add a box collider around him so that this knight can actually be attacked. We'll also turn him around just for sake of argument, and we'll call him the knight, the knight dummy. And let's see if we can actually damage him with this attack area. And what's very important is that this attack area start as disabled in this case. Also very important, comment out both the damage and the heal here, otherwise we will have an issue if we're moving. And then let's see if it works. So the dummy, let's actually decrease its health to a more manageable amount. Let's move on and let's see if I now select the attack area. You can see that the attack area has flashed above it. And as you can see, it has also taken away three health and I can do it again and again. And if I do it one more time, then the knight dummy will vanish. And there you go. It will print out I am dead and the game object will destroy itself just like we have set in the health script. Yeah, and that is actually how easy it is to add a very simple attack script to your player. Like I've already mentioned, there are a few ways that you can do this. This isn't the only one. However, this is a fairly simple one and it works really well. And together with the health script that we have done before, this now works really nicely and they can be used in tandem very well and very easily. Like usual, the entire project is linked in the description below, a GitHub repository and all individual scripts as well. Otherwise, if you liked it, I would of course appreciate a like from you and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this and I will see you in the next one. So yeah.